I came across a quote a few days ago that goes a little something like this. The moment you are old enough to take the wheel, responsibilities lies with you. By J.K. Rowling. My name is Justin Sherlock, and I'm running for treasurer for class of 2019. I'm not going to lie my way through this lecture. I was looking for a quote I could include in my speech, but when I came across this quote by one of my favorite authors, it really made me think. Surprisingly, through the past couple years, I thought I was much more mature than I really was, until time caught up with me and I realized I was nowhere close. I am only just now, for the first time, putting myself out there for something I really want to do. Earlier this year, when we were choosing our first class officers of our high school lives, I wanted to run, but I thought I'd lose. I didn't have the courage, but I do now. It is impossible, it is impossible to live without failing at something, unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case you fail by default. Again, J.K. Rowling. But my obsession with Harry Potter aside, I don't just want this position. I truly believe I'm qualified for this. I was involved with SGC a lot this year. I was a part of the community, community service committee. I helped out in Project Pumpkin. I tried to volunteer as much as I could. I've gone to the majority of the meetings. And when I see how much people, people, when I see how much fun people have had in student government, it makes me want to be even more involved. When the upperclassmen speak of how much this club has changed them for the better, and how much fun they have had, it inspires me. They mentioned that if you get the chance to be a part of it, that you should take it. So that's what I'm doing. Each of these positions are special in their own way. I want to run for treasurer because I know it's something I'm capable of doing, and I know I won't disappoint. I've been told by countless people that I am an overachiever, and they are definitely not wrong. And I will perform the roles of this position with the, most, with the utmost resp responsibility and dedication that I have with other assignments. As treasurer, I would not just handle the money, I would take part in all fundraisers, keep track of transactions, and make sure we have all the money to have the best years of our lives. I was given the opportunity to run for an office practically made for me, and I took it. I would just like to say, if you are given an opportunity to do something you want to do, like I did, don't let it pass you by. Thank you, and remember to vote Justin Sherlock for your class treasurer. Desire is the key to motivation, but it's determination and commitment to an unrelenting pursuit of your goal. Uh, Commitment to Excellence that will enable you to attain the success you seek. By Mario Andretti, a man dedicated to speed. Hi, my name is Jasmine Morse, and I'm ready to be your class of 2019 secretary. Quotes have always fascinated me, but this one in particular is one of my favorites since it can be related to any situation, such as the one I'm in right now. I want to help us as a class make a positive impact on not only the school, but as our community as well. I'm determined to work with others to help make our community a better place. Also, I'm extremely committed to this school and our SGC. I've attended main, most of our meetings and have been asked to attend some of the conferences that we've had. Not only am I committed to the SGC, but I'm also committed to RHS's athletic programs as well. This year, I've participated in the volleyball and tennis teams. From student government to schoolwork and sports, I've grown accustomed to juggling a large schedule and attending nearly all practices and making all meetings. Being able to arrange and organize multiple tasks at the same time is a major part of being a secretary. And just as I do with those, I will work relentlessly till I help us reach our goals as a team. Lastly, I plan on working with all the class officers and you to help the class of 2019 reach our highest level of success. To my classmates, for you, I for me, uh, to my classmates, for you I will always work as though I have something to prove. I have to prove my leadership. This cannot be measured in any form of elections. The only way to test someone's leadership is to give them your time. I'm trying to show, in, I'm also trying to show that this speech is not about winning or losing for me. For me, this, this speech is just a vessel, a vessel to help me help you make our class and school an even better place than it already is, which is my main goal. So please give me your time. In return, I will give you mine and much more. So when you find yourselves checking off those boxes on the ballots, please give me a chance and vote Jasmine Morse be Class 2019's secretary. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Madison Blondie, and I am running for the position of secretary for the Class of 2019. I play on the Rockland High School varsity soccer team and the lacrosse team. I also play on a club soccer team. I was in SGC this year and I was also elected as the secretary for, of our class this year. 
We had a su successful year, so I'm just going to do the same again next year. As your class secretary, I will bring the ideas of the students to SGC meetings and try to make them happen. I encourage you to vote for me for the to be your class secretary. Thank you for your time and have a nice day. Good afternoon. My name is Abby Condon. I am running for the position of vice president for the class of 2019. In the past year, I have maintained honor roll in all my classes and bring forth my b very best effort in order to do so. In addition, I'm a student athlete. Throughout the past several years, I have played for the Boston Breakers Soccer Club, ODP Soccer Program, and the Girls Varsity Soccer Team. This shows not only that I can juggle many things at once, but that I am hardworking, responsible, and able to manage my time well enough to succeed in whatever it is that I undertake. As your Vice President, I will stand with your President and offer my support at all times, as well as step in when he or she is unavailable. As your Vice President, I will also strongly support any concerns or ideas that you may have in order to improve our school. I look forward to filling the next four years with memories that we will cherish forever. Thank you for your time and please consider voting me for Vice President. Hi, I'm Caitlin and I'm running for class president. This year I was involved with SGC, which made me do whatever I could to make our which made me want to do whatever I could to make our high school experience great. As president, I will strive to continue to make improvements in school and for students in our grade. Student council works alongside the student body and administration to make sure we have a successful year. With me as president, you can be assured a successful sophomore year. I can relate to everyone's needs and do what's best for our grade. I'll work hard no matter what the circumstance. As president, I vow to end homework. Just kidding. I can't do that. But I can be a representative for our grade to the administration. If elected, I will fight for what's best for our grade, no matter how big or small the issue. I would appreciate your vote for president, and please consider me. Thank you. What a year this has been. A time full of adventures and challenges. It seems as if only a short while ago, we all took our first step into this building, eager to embark on our high school journeys. We didn't know what obstacles would come our way, what hardships lied ahead. But the one thing that always seemed to keep us on course was our dedication to each other. Every day we may see someone crumble and fall, not know what to do, but the positivity and pure devotion for a better society keeps us going. It makes us unbreakable, a bond that all people wish to feel someday. However, a community that lacks initiative is one that is foreseen with uncertainty. My name is John Ellard, and I'm running to be your 2016-2017 sophomore class president. Any upcoming conjoined group needs a leader, someone who will step up and get the most out of our class, someone with the work ethic, persistence, and true leadership qualities to reach our full potential. A friend who puts others' needs before their own, never seeking recognition for their actions. A figure who is approachable and welcoming to any ideas, problems, or concerns. I also had the honor of representing our class this freshman year. I was always out pursuing new thoughts to make us better, to positively set us in a great position for the years to come. As a class, we've raised over $1,200 from really only two main fundraisers alone, the coffee cakes and the winter hats. Money to go to major events like proms and other exciting activities. Imagine the possibilities for so much more prosperity if you only gave me the chance to capitalize. I've had the privilege of attending many SGC conferences such as CMASC and MASC. Here, I sharpen my instincts and enhance my qualities of being a role model. Yeah, I could tell you a ton of other things about myself, like how I have over 110 community service hours, how I play three sports, and how I always have a smile on my face. But I'm not sure there's really a point. You guys care about what is best for you and the people you care for. All you need is that extra support and guidance to push you over the finish line. It's simple. All I am saying is that at some point you have to make a decision, a choice that may define the legacy we leave behind, how we will be remembered. So, class of 2019, vote for me, John Ellard, to be your president because I'm certain that not only can I do 
what is in the best interest for all of you, but I can leave behind a legacy that is truly a tribute to our success. Thank you for your time and best of luck to my opponent, Caitlin. Hi, class of 2018. I'm Isabel and I will be your treasurer for the school year 2016 to 2017. I hope to accomplish all of our goals alongside our other class officers and to fundraise as much as possible in order to have a successful prom and school year. I look forward to being your class treasurer and can't wait for next year. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Hannah Murphy and I'm going to be your 2016-2017 class secretary. As prom is going to be our main target for next year, I will be making sure the board stays organized and on top of things. To do this, I will be taking notes on precise ideas and making sure the board meets at least twice a month or more if needed. Our VP and I will be t attending a conference in Oregon, which is national wide, and a summer conference at Worcester College. We will both be benefiting from this conference and we'll be taking back ideas for our class and we still need to raise for a lot amount of money for prom. I will try my best to make sure we have the most successful year. Thank you for putting your faith in me. Uh, hello, class of 2018. For those who don't know me that well, my name is Jill Donahue and I'll be your class vice president. Junior year is a crucial year for us to come together as a class and work together as a team. It's an eventful milestone and I want to help make sure we use it to the best of our ability as upperclassmen. As prom is our big picture this year, lots of things need to get done. Full dedication and effort needs to be put into this prom and I'm ready to vote my time towards it and set goals that are achievable. We need to raise a lot of money this year and have tons of class participation. I have some unique ideas as well as traditional ones that will benefit our grade, like car washes, bake sales, raffles, and we still have the Yankee Candle, Yankee Candles as our 11th grade fundraiser. I'm really involved in student government as I'll be attending a national wide conference in Oregon and a summer camp, a summer camp, wait. Okay, and a summer camp that will indeed help with ideas and advice to get our class back on track. It's an honor to serve as your VP and I'll promise that I and I promise that our board will work together to make prom a successful hit. Thank you. With the big year approaching for the class of 2018 full of responsibilities and expectations needing to be met, a suitable leader must take charge to make our year a success together. And by becoming this leader, I would want nothing but to gratify our class and lead us to an exceptional year. My name is Hannah Bobin. I am running to be your junior class 2016 through 2017 president. I have always jumped to opportunities like this, and I have the ability to take control with assertiveness, as well as reach out to everyone with my own voice and have an open mind. I'm not here just to gain the title of president. I'm here to be an effective leader and make this upcoming year a good one. I'm also not going to ramble off things I want to change. I'm here to listen to what our class wants to change or build on. I'm always willing to listen, being more than approachable person, doing everything in my power to create a bond with our class where we can effectively make this school year better by adjusting things we once could not. With my recent attendance of conferences like CMASC and MASC, as well as the MASC summer camp, I will be taking the newly gained skills and advice to make every voice heard and every matter apparent, whether we're talking about a fundraiser or getting our class more involved. Speaking on that matter, the only way to get things done is if we work together and get everyone involved. And as president, I hope to achieve that goal and get as many people on my side to help make our changes beneficial. Working alongside other class officers and with our class, the school year could go off smoothly if we get what needs to be done. For example, being president, I will have to work with the board to get our prom together. However, without the help and ideas from other people and our class, we are left with an unbalanced platform for prom, leaving us almost renderless without the proper fundraising and ideas from everyone. But if involved in help make everything better in giving ideas and raising money for these events, I as president, as well as the rest of my class officers, can make our prom and school year as effective and beneficial as needed. By even taking an extra step, we could go above and beyond and raise even more money to find more school-wide events that eventually we could host or even just be a part of to prosper from and have a jump start into our school year next year. I care about your opinions. I want to hear your needs and wants. As a passionate advocate, I would like to take your ideas and make them happen, using this to effectively bring our class together and benefit us when we need it most. Vote Hannah Bobin as your president, and I will do everything in my power to exceed expectations and make everyone proud of what we can accomplish together. Thank you for your time, and good luck to my other candidate. George Washington Carver once said, For there is no vision, there is no hope. Thankfully, I, Macy Jones, have a vision for this class and what I can do to help us grow and progress as upperclassmen this year as your class president. 
Why am I the best choice? For one, I have experience. This year, I was elected as year vice president. In this role, I helped run meetings when necessary, helped out when I was needed, and brought ideas to the table. Stepping up out of this position and becoming year class president is a natural step. I've also been my 4-H club president for the past two years. This job involves writing an agenda and keeping everyone on track. I am also in charge of running meetings and making sure that everything needs to get done gets done well and completely. Another part of my job is planning events and field trips and making sure everyone is where they need to be and on time. Being a president requires being organized, responsible, dedicated, creative, and resourceful. All of these traits I've picked up in my various positions in leadership. Why is my hair so big? It's full of fundraising ideas to help us raise money. Some of my ideas are doing something like a 50-50 raffle at various sports games, holding a LCR tournament for parents, or doing a trivia night for students and teachers. But this is only the beginning. Along the way, our plans may change. But with the right leadership, we can change the plan but keep the goal. My goal is to help us raise not only enough money for our prom this year, but for anything we wish to do in the future. Not only am I experienced and prepared for this role, I'm also dedicated to SGC, SGC showing up to almost every event and meeting and being prepared to work hard. What I offer to this class is dedication, hard work, and the willingness to work with a team. This year during elections, there's no need to sweat, vote for somebody you won't regret. Vote Macy Jones for your junior class president. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sean and I'm your secretary. I'm Julia and I'm your treasurer. I'm Colleen and I'm your vice president. I'm Kaylee and I'm your president. We're looking for a great senior year.